Welcome to Witchit! In Witchit, you can choose between playing a sneaky witch or a brave hunter. Both characters come with a unique skill set. As a witch, you can transform into any object to hide yourself from the hunters. Don't get caught by the hunters. As a hunter, your goal is to catch all of the hidden witches. While in-game, you can press F1 for a quick reminder of the controls. Hide and Seek is a standard game mode of Witchet. It is separated into two phases. The match starts with the hiding phase, where the witches have some time to prepare their hiding spot and strategy. During the hiding phase, the hunters will stay in their spawn zone until the Seek phase begins, where the door opens and the hunters are released. The hunters have to fight all witches to win, whereas the witches try to survive until the time runs out. Mobification is similar to the hide and seek mode, but with a slight twist. The difference is that cord witches respawn as a hunter at the hunter spawn zone. Because of this, the match gradually gets more and more intense over time. Hunter Hack is based on the hide and seek mode, but with some extra rules. Skills are not available and hunters can only use their melee attack. In Hunter Hack, witches are not able to transform into props, which means they can only run. Remember, cord witches respawn as hunters in the exact position they were caught, so it's better to spread out away from other witches. Welcome to the tutorial for Filler Pot. This is an objective game mode where the witches have to fill three of the five cauldrons to win the round, while the hunters must prevent them from doing so. The number of players in both teams are even and one match consists of two rounds. This tutorial focuses on the 2 vs 2 version of the game mode. So what do you need to do? As a witch you have to completely fill three cauldrons before the time runs out. Overall there are five cauldrons spread around the map. Your first step would be to activate a cauldron. To do this, stay inside the rune circle for a couple of seconds while being in your witch form. As soon as the cauldron is activated, all witches will be shown a prop which they must locate in the map. Look at the divine orb to find out if a required prop is nearby. It will glow brightly if you are very close to it. Then, just transform into that prop and get back to the cauldron. Hop inside the cauldron to fill it. By doing so, you respawn invisible and out of sight of hunters. To complete a cauldron, you must fill it twice. The cauldron must be reactivated before it can be filled a second time. Once a cauldron is completely full, witches will receive a time bonus. Every witch has four lives. Try not to lose them all. But in the case that one witch lost all their lives, the other witch can hurry to the revive spirit to resurrect their teammate. Be careful as this may leave you vulnerable for a few seconds. <laughs> as a hunter, your goal is to prevent the witches from filling the cauldron until the time runs out. It's also possible for the hunters to win the game by eliminating all of the witches' lives. The hunters should also watch out for half-filled cauldrons, because when the witches fill one cauldron completely, they get their bonus time or may even win if it's the third cauldron. We hope this tutorial has helped. Have fun playing! This tutorial explains the basic functions of the hunters. Hunters can run, jump and crouch. By default, you play the hunter in first person, but you can switch to third person view any time. As a hunter, your main way of finding witches is by throwing potatoes. During a game, try to check as many props as possible by throwing your potato. If a prop is a hidden witch, you will see a pink effect and you'll hear a screaming sound. Additionally, you can use a melee attack, which is for close combat but can be used to check multiple props at once. You can also charge up your melee attack by holding the melee key for a few seconds. Besides from that, 
Hunters have a variety of skills you can choose from to chase the witches. Check them out in the skill section of the tutorial screen. Last but not least, the hunters can make a couple of noises. This tutorial explains the basics. This tutorial explains the basic functions of the witches. Witches can run, jump and crouch. By default, you play the witch in third person but you can switch to first person view anytime. As a witch, your main ability is to transform into props. If your witch has transformed into a prop, you can transform back to a witch by holding down the transform key away from a prop. If you are a prop, you can stabilize yourself which allows precise control over your prop. By holding down the stabilize button, you can move your mouse to rotate your prop. This makes it easier to move around or adjust your position in your hiding spot. Additionally, witches have a variety of skills you can choose from to escape or confuse the hunters. Check them out in the skill section of the tutorial screen. Last but not least, the witch can laugh and scream. Thank you.